This is my 2005 Suzuki DRZ 400E. I just installed the Tusk Enduro lighting kit on it with the Trailtech X2 headlight. I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys, yeah, uh, just a quick walk around of the uh, the lights, turn signals, and the switches. on-off switch here, switch the key to on, put the on-off switch set to on, the back tail light illuminates, just glows, it's got a white light beneath it to illuminate your license plate, you hit the left turn signal, these are all LED lights, Walk around this side, they're all very bright. Um, I'll show you guys uh, close up here in just a moment. You got the right turn signal, pretty much the same there. <clears throat> turn off your turn signals, you got your horn here, and then your lights this is the trail this is the tusk enduro lighting kit comes with the control switch but I hooked up my trail tech x2 to the switch so the low beam is the uh, the light on the top there and then the high beam is the one there on the bottom so I will do another review on the brightness here. I um, don't really have time right now to do it. I just want to do a quick walk around. And I'll go into a little bit more detail. But uh, the hardest part for me was mounting the horn, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, I didn't really have anywhere to put the turn signals. So I just cut a hole right here into the side of the... Uh, Trail Tech headlight, and it seems to work out fine. They kind of point inwards, you know, just a little bit, but that was the best spot for them. There really was nowhere else to put it. Uh, but there's still a couple things I gotta do with it. I gotta bleed the brakes. Um, still gotta clean out my carburetor and my gas tank, but just wanted to post this video to show you what it looks like.